Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another Valentine's Day makeup look for you. I wanted to create a couple of them this year for you to choose from. So if you happen to like this look and you're curious how I did it, let's get started. Starting with the eyes, I'm going to start and prime my eyes with Paint Pot Soft Ochre by MAC. You can either use your fingers to apply it, I sometimes use my finger or use a brush. It's really up to you. The purpose is to really evenly apply to your eyelids. I immediately go ahead and set it with the powder. It just locks the product in and prevents from creasing. So I'm going to be doing a smoky eye and I want to achieve a pretty dark look. And for that I'm going to apply this NYX Jumbo Pencil in black bean color. So this just works as a eyeshadow base. The eyeshadow color will come out much more rich and pigmented. So as you can see these pencils are also creamy. You can either blend it with your finger which I find much more easier or you can use a brush. So today I'm reaching out for one of my favorite palettes, the Manna palette by Dress Your Face. I'm going to be picking up the black color from the palette and it's called Noir. It's the most pigmented black color I've ever worked with. So I'm just packing that color onto my lid. So I'm being careful and I'm not going above my lid area. And now I'm just taking a fluffy blending brush and going and blending the color out. Reaching back into the Tamanna palette, I'm picking up this gorgeous cranberry color, Sangria. And this color will work as one of the transition colors. So with a flat brush, I picked up this beautiful pink color. It's by Urban Decay. It's from one of the first Vice palettes. I forgot the name, I don't have the name of it, but it's one of the most gorgeous pink color I could find. And I'm carefully going to apply this only in my inner corner, inner part of the eye. So I'm just taking another fluffy brush and trying to get rid of the harsh lines and just blending it out a little bit. I often go back and forth and reapply the color to increase the intensity. It's really up to you however intense you want it. I'm going to brighten my inner corners with MAC Nylon. So lately I've been using this Laura Mercier gel eyeliner. I mean my absolute favorite is Inglot number 77 but I was just curious about this one since I had heard a lot of good things about it. Actually my sister-in-law suggested this. She was in search of a perfect eyeliner that wouldn't budge when she would do Vuzu. So I decided to give it a try. And so far so good. And so I'm done with the eyes part for now. I'm going to start cleaning up the under eye area for any fallout. And I'm going to start uh, priming my face with this luxurious Hourglass Veil Primer. I carefully um, go ahead and apply it on my face all over just like I would apply a moisturizer and let it sink in and soak into my skin. Before foundation and um, concealer, I'm just color correcting my pigmented areas. By the way, all the products are going to be listed down below in the description box, so do go ahead and take a look at it. I'm applying my favorite at the moment, Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. Yeah. 
I do also take this foundation under my eye area um, just so it works as a concealer because it has great coverage and it is a slightly peach toned. Now I'm applying NARS All Day Luminous Foundation. I picked up a quite lighter shade in this just so I could work with it as a highlighter and it works out pretty well for me. So here I'm just taking my time and blending, 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 and more blending with the Beauty Blender now. I just want to make sure I have all the spots covered. I'm just rolling it and patting it however motions I can just to cover all of my face with the foundation. Going back in underneath my eyes with the NARS Luminous. Um, this is just working as um, a highlighter and a concealer for me. I'm just brightening my under eye area right now and just blending it out. And now to set my foundation, I am going to reach for the banana powder from Bed Nye. I'm going to take my Wet Beauty Blender and really dip it in to a lot of powder and start applying it underneath my eye area. Somehow using a wet beauty blender, picking up that dry powder with wet beauty blender and applying it, it just gives you that airbrush look. I don't know what it is, but I've tried it and I do it all the time to my brides and they just get stunned with the look. They cannot believe it's like live Photoshop. And now for contouring, I'm reaching for Anastasia Contour Kit and I like using the banana shade it's almost like the banana powder by Ben Nye, but it's like in the pressed form and it's much more pigmented. So I'm just applying it on the high parts of my face. I like to highlight my face with a matte powder. I'm not using any shimmers right now because we're just contouring, so we're doing highlight and contour with matte shades. So going with the theme, I'm going to keep my contour pretty um, soft since it is a Valentine's Day look. My eyes are pretty dramatic so I want to keep the rest of my face pretty soft. Here I'm just applying the darker shade underneath my tip of the nose because I like to lift the tip of the nose. So if you apply a darker shade underneath, the higher part of your nose is just going to be even more lifted. And also if you apply um, highlight on top of it, it would um, lift up more. So because I have oily skin, I really control the amount and the placement of the shimmer powders that I put on my face. 
I'm applying it to the tip of my nose and carefully on the high point of my cheeks. And because I have a naturally shiny T-zone, I don't want to go overboard with it. Now I'm applying the lightest pink color I could find from the e.l.f. blush palette, which is also one of the current favorite palettes of mine right now. And it's also my three-year-old daughter's favorite color. So time to do brows, and I'm going to go off the camera and do my brows and be right back. So if you're blessed with huge big eyes, um, you don't need to do this step, but if you're like me and you have average to small eyes, I like to highlight my waterline with a lighter shade. So instead of applying a black eyeliner, I go ahead and apply um, either a skin color pencil or a white color pencil. I've done the white in previous videos, but for this look I chose um, this nude color by Rimmel and it's called Scandal Eyes. So sorry guys, my camera didn't record, but I did apply a pink eyeshadow underneath my lower lash line. And you know the drill, go ahead and coat your lashes top and bottom and make them look pretty. Moving on to lips, this time I decided to do a little different. I'm not using a liquid lipstick. This is MAC Sore Lip Liner and I'm just... Um, overlining my lips, making them look bigger, more poutier. Actually the color that I wanted, I didn't have a liquid lipstick in that color, so I just decided to use MAC lipstick in shade Pink Plaid. So, oh my god, I just remember I forgot my lashes. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Huda Beauty eyelashes in Farah. Alright, guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up to this video. Let me know in the comments below what other looks you would like me to do. So I thank you for your time and I will see you next week. And now a special message from my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>